hello hello welcome back to my channel i am today going to do film a little paint with me i've almost finished this painting that i'm working on at the moment and i thought it would be nice to sit down and finish it together i feel like here on my channel i'm going to have about 20 different creative related videos because i just love everything any kind of creative outlet i just love it from painting drawing crochet sewing knitting you name it i enjoy it probably because i don't have a life usually i do my painting in the evening time but today is like a saturday afternoon I'm trying to just relax a bit more and take a bit more time out but today it's like a sunny little Saturday afternoon. I think at the moment I'm really on my painting buzz because I have blank walls around my apartment. There used to be paintings on them, but my landlady was like, look, if you want, you can take them down and decorate it however you want. So I have done just that. I've decided that my mission is going to be filling my apartment walls with my own paintings and my own art. So I really like that because it's like something you know, maybe I wouldn't be as motivated if I was just doing it my own time because I can always find 101 other things to do. But this is like a nice project for me to work towards and to like fill in my wall. Thus far, I have done three or four paintings and like a few nice little prints like coats and stuff. Coats and stuff. I feel like maybe in this series, like it will be nice to see the new additions and how, how the... I don't know, am I making sense? I actually filmed the last day of time lapse of me doing another one of my paintings. I did film it though, I did, do have the time lapse, so I might insert the footage here. Not like here, here, but like in the next. <laughs> Future me has just edited that. I'll actually show you the finished piece. This is the finished piece. I did mess up a bit on this side, so yeah. Oh, you can see the reflection <laughs> from it, but yeah. And I obviously framed it myself because you can see the puckering on the sheet up at the top. But when it's on the wall, you can't notice it, I promise. These days, one of my favorite things to do is not any nice quotes and things that I find. I'm having a bit of an identity crisis because I always say quotes. I don't know why I keep saying quotes in this video. That I really enjoy. I add them into a little folder and I will later make art inspired by that quote or that nice thing I've seen. So that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment, to be honest. That's where the majority of my inspiration comes from. I love Pinterest. I also love going out and about here in the city. There's so many beautiful artists and kind of getting inspired by their work as well. Especially if their work is <laughs> extremely expensive and I can't afford to support them or buy it. I will be taking inspiration. For example, the last painting that I did was very much inspired by um, the style of an artist here in the city in Siena. But also a photograph that I've taken. I love, again, as I said previously, anything creative. That's why I really like photography and videography and editing. Another thing for my art is that I will base my art on pictures that I've taken. So like that paint, that painting that I've done is a picture that I used to take from my old apartment. This picture that I'm doing now, the reference picture is another one that I've taken as well. It's one of my favorite streets in Siena. I think I've said it before, but my preferred medium for my art would have to be watercolor. It's always been my favorite because it allows me to draw in detail and then I can like, you know, blend it out a bit more in my own thing. Now I know that some people don't like watercolor cause it's a bit like wishy-washy, but I think it you can control how vivid or washed it looks. I don't know, is wash the term? I should really look up my art terms before I start talking about art. But I only ever did art in school. I didn't do art class or anything outside of school. I only did them for, I did art for my junior search and I absolutely loved every second of it. It was definitely one of my favorite subjects, 
but I didn't keep it on for my leaving cert because uh, I had the, all the courses that I wanted to do all had like a lot of science requirements. So I actually ended up doing three different science subjects. I feel like if it was more practical, do you know, instead of somewhat art history, but like not as much art history as there is in it, I definitely would have been really, really tempted to uh, to do art for my living cert. As I said previously, um, I also love like designing clothes. You know, those, the dolls that like, I don't know if anybody else when they were younger used to have those books. Um, I was obsessed with them. It used to have like the outline of the body and then you'd draw the clothes and design the clothes for the dolls. Um, I was obsessed with that. That really was my jam. And I still do that nowadays. I still like, I don't have the books, but I just draw out my own silhouettes. I feel like in another life, if I, and I think actually still, I always, I always think this, oh, in another life, if I could go back, I would do something fashion designy, but I would still like to do that in this lifetime. I think just because I've chosen the career I have doesn't mean that I am um, narrowed down to this one career. While I've been studying, I also have my own business. Like I wanted to incorporate that level of design into a business and I have my own jewelry brand. So I feel like going forward, I would love to do something like that. I feel sometimes when I see merch or I see a celebrity or someone bring out a brand, and it doesn't really align with the vision that you have in mind for that celebrity. I'm always like, I would love to have done that for them. And it would have turned out a completely different way. Which is really strange because I know that's some people's full-time job. But I would love to do that as well. I have too many things I want to do. Okay, so I always felt when I was younger, I was definitely a bit of an all-rounder. And like, that's not in a, wow, I'm, I'm amazing and everything kind of way, not at all. But it's like, I just was interested in too many different things. And like going forward when I'm older, I don't see myself having one job. I see myself having multiple kind of like side quests. <laughs> and when I was younger, I think there was a negative connotation with like, not just like putting all your time and energy on one craft and becoming really good at that. And... I don't know, I felt like a certain amount of pressure to be like, oh, well, I just, I'm going to try everything out. And then once I become, once I realize I'm really good at one thing, I'm just going to focus on that. Whereas I just found whatever I put my hand towards, I was good at it. But I liked all the other things I was doing. So I never, you know, like put myself into that category. And my parents never put me into that category of just focusing on one thing. Like I absolutely love sports. I've been playing sports ever since I was younger. And since I moved here, since I live abroad, the sport that I play, I can't play here. I have put that energy that I would have been putting towards that sport normally at home to my creative endeavors or going to the gym and running or, you know, all these different things because my sport is obviously only in Ireland. And that's what I think I love about the course I'm studying so much is that it's art and science together as well as working with people. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And that's why I think I was so drawn to it initially. And again, it's bringing a lot of areas into one. Like when I'm older, I, ideally I would love to specialize. And the thing that I want to specialize in, it incorporates so many areas. And that's what I've always loved to do is do a lot of things and put them into one. I think it's very useful being like a jack of all trades because you can draw on the skills that you have from all the different areas and really utilize them in the in the thing that you're doing at that moment in time. The phrase, jack of all trades, but master of none, that isn't the full phrase, it actually goes further and it's jack of all trades, master of none, but a jack of all, no. <laughs> I need to get, I need to get the phrase because I can't remember it properly, but. So the full phrase is a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. And I just love that so much. I also think in terms of being an entrepreneur, it really helps. Like, ha again, taking inspiration and taking your knowledge from all these areas and putting them into the one thing that you're focusing on that moment in time. I definitely find that I have like a renewed enjoyment in my art and stuff since I've had a break from it. And, and that's this... The same for me 
with a lot of things. I find like even when I have my summer holidays from, from college and I come back and I'm just like more refreshed when I come back in the September, the October, because you've just had a break. It goes for everything in your life. If you're just sick of it at one moment in time, you just, you just need a break. And that's why I think that something like gap years are so underrated. Like people think, oh, you know, I'm not taking a gap year. I need to like push on and, you know, develop more and get further ahead of my career. Whereas I think if you take a gap year, it, it, it like forces you to reassess your situation. And like, is this what I want? Yes, no, I think I just need a break right now. And I'll come back with like renewed energy and drive and motivation and, and passion. I know where I was going with that, sorry. I also think that making time for yourself and these hobbies is very important. But anyway, I should start actually doing a bit more drawing because I'm only doing a small bit as I go along. The picture that I have, the reference photo that I've taken, is all brick like sides and it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely adore that street and the view and everything, it's my favorite. I'm doing like all the detail work, so it takes a bit of time and energy, but I love listening to music, watching my little videos or chatting to a camera while I'm doing it. And also sometimes I will do it like without listening to music or anything. I'll just be like, okay, I'm being present. I'm going to do my art and not have any other distractions, no screens, no nothing, just sit with my thoughts. I just love it, I really, really like it. So I'm going to, I'll swap the camera and I'll put you from like an aerial view on my page and then you can see what I'm uh, what I'm doing. I'll do a little time lapse. Could be fun. Hello there. Long time no see. God, the difference that lighting makes. I look like a little witch. <laughs> this <laughs> in this lighting. Witch, yes or no? Like I'm gonna put in the picture that I think I look like right now. But my hair is frazzled. The fucking hair is frazzled. You saw me this afternoon. I actually did a time lapse, but uh, the angle was absolutely horrendous. So I just deleted it immediately. It was honestly the worst thing ever. Finished off all the, the brick detailing on the wall. Ooh, it's coming together nicely now. I'm going to finish it today because at least then if I finish it today, I'm like, yes, this is what I have to show for today. Oh, I hate myself sometimes. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of this because I have nothing more to add to you. I just had a lovely afternoon. And actually now that I think of it, I uh, need to put on my- Rasta. Carry on. I've also edited a few videos this weekend, which is exciting. So I'll be ready to post them now in the next few weeks. But if you're watching this, like just comment away under my videos. Don't feel any, you know, like pressure to not comment or something. I'm quite reluctant in commenting on people that I enjoy and their videos. But if they ask a question during the video and they ask for advice or something, I will. If you want a space to rant in my comments or anything at all, just just write. And I was gonna say my DMs are always open, but I don't I don't use Instagram. But contact me. You can email me. I'll have my email and the things. Anyway, let's let's get down to business. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. <laughs> damn minute. <laughs> I was like, why don't I show you how I frame my pictures as well? Because he got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, painting for my birthday from this amazing Irish artist called Carol Cronin. I want to have one of her giant canvases in my house when I'm old and rich and have lots of money. <laughs> uh, that's everything I like to see an art and more, you know what I mean? So she's definitely one of my favorite artists ever, ever, ever. And While I chop this off, I'm gonna play some music in the background. 
It is Loyal Karner's cover of Can You West Heard Him Say and it's the most beautiful thing ever. I'm going to play it now. I'm obsessed with the song in the first place and then Loyal singing it just like is a cherry on top. It's 20 years. I've been trying to write this song and it's absurd. Nothing's ever promised tomorrow. Uh, wait, wait. I'm saying sorry for the swearing. Shit, I know it gets a little overbearing. So Nothing lasts forever, but be honest, babe. Hurts, but it may be the only way. Okay, also another one that you have to watch while you're on, the, on YouTube. Either Summer Walk or her Clear Visual EP. Or I'm thinking I'm going to put on Tiny Desk. Tyler, the creator's Tiny Desk has got to be my favorite hey on the um i'm not saying you live in my space i said okay 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 my infatuation is related to another form of what you call it what, what the, the fuck, fuck do you mean they hit me cute, they hit me with precision I wonder if you look both ways when you cross my mind I said, I said, I said I said, Bollocks, anyway. Sorry, folks, just undergoing some technical difficulties. Y'all yeah, ready for this? I think. I don't know, though. I'm very happy with that. I think for today now, that is it. I would like to thank you very much for watching. I'm very proud of myself for, for filming an intro, an outro for once. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, leave a, a like. You can subscribe if you want to see more from me. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. Talk about it. Take it easy. <laughs>